Hello everyone, my name is MT and of course, welcome back to another video. This time I'm gonna teach y'all how you can make a YAM turn server in just minutes. So first of all, open Google Chrome or go down in the description below and download all the files that we will be needing. We will be needing only one file. That file is called Unturn Server Organizer. The site looks like this. Yes, it doesn't, in my opinion, they could work on the background and everything, but it's very easy and very simple. Press download once. Press download again. It's gonna download a thing called USO Setup EXE. If this doesn't pop up here, go to your file explorer, go to downloads, and you can find it here. USO Setup. Install that. Welcome to Unturned Server Organizer Setup. Setup will guide you through the installation of Unturned Server Guys. Click next to continue by installing blah 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 whatever. Just press next. And you can choose your destination folder. I'm just gonna keep it as a habit now. Program files in C. You can change it to wherever you are. You don't really need to remember this. Because you only have to press start and search for Unturned Server Organizer. And it will pop up. Anyways, press next. You can choose your server location. I won't keep this as my normals. I will change this to something I prefer. Browse. This PC. Big Bob. Make a new folder. Name it to whatever you want. I'm gonna call it for coffee shop because that's my name of my intern server. D coffee shop install. Now it's installing the server, downloading packages and everything. This might take a while for you, not that long though, so. Now it's complete. It might take a while for you, depends on how quick your PC is, and sometimes, like, it's, it took just seconds. So. I don't expect it to take too long. Installation finished. By, f by clicking finish, we will start USO for the first time. If you're like me, I don't like to have stuff on my desktop, so you can remove that. No worries. Empty trash bin? Yes. Unturned server organizer. Updating Steam Engine. This might take a while though, so just let it load, and uh, you can pause this video or skip until I'm done when you're done with this. This might take a while, so go ahead and get your cup of coffee and some popcorn. Now that you're done with that, you can see Unturned server organizer. They, it will pop up a donate, so they, you can see they have received 22.50 and they need 50. Why? Because this is free and it, it costs money for them. So if you have some spare money, go ahead and donate to them. They're doing a very good job. It's easy to install a server. Now thanks to them so this is how it looks now we're gonna press default server it will be automatically there and if it isn't there then it's something strange but you can just press create down here to make your own server you can have several servers at the same time but it will take of course more on your computer so i recommend only having one highlight that press server settings here's a lot of stuff you can do first of all instance name this is not what the server is called basically if you open your task manager like this it will say your server name will say here so for an example if i type if I type a coffee shop here, and I have my server on, it will say here in processes, and I, not in performance, but in processes, it will say coffee shop, which is basically my server. Here's the name that everybody will see, so I recommend this, I recommend you changing it instead of just having server host by USO. So change this to whatever, you, change this to whatever your name is gonna be. So for me, coffee shop PVP. Just something like that, it will probably be updated soon. Anyways, that's my name on the server. How many players you want on the server? The more maximum players you have here, the more it will take on your PC. So I recommend having it between 18 to 24. You can have 30 foot you can have 32 if you have a good PC, but I don't recommend having more than 24. Cycle how long you want your days and nights to be. I'm gonna keep it as 86,400. It's because I like having long nights and long days. You can have perspective, first, if you only want first person, third person, or both. I've, I like both, but we're gonna see if I have to update that soon. Welcome message. This is basically what pops up when someone joins the server. So if you type, for example, Dix, don't ask me why would you put... I'm not even gonna ask why you would have been thinking of doing that. But yeah, if you put this, then it when someone connects to the server, up here in the chat, it will say Dix. My welcome message is... Coffee shop, get your coffee today. Server port, you can have the server port on, on pretty much anything, but I recommend having it on ser like tw uh, 27 or 15, that's the normal port of Unturned. In case you want people to be able to vote kick people, you can have this on. I don't like that, so I'm gonna put it on no. Allow sheets, this is so everybody can sheet in case you're gonna have a creative server. I recommend you just having it off in case you're gonna have a survival server or anything like that. Gold usage only, only people who have both gold for $5 or 5 euros will be able to use this server, of course. Let's go up to the right corner, map, we have PEI, I'm gonna change it to Washington, I love Washington. PVP or PVE, depends on what your server type is, I like PVP. 
easy, no bullet drops or anything like that, but I, I like bullet drops and it's more fun, it adds a bit of more, it makes the game a bit harder and that's fun, so I'm gonna keep it on normal. Edit loadout, press that, there's a skill set, you can get MRE, trials your pants, basically this is what you start with in Antwerp, so we're gonna remove everything and make a, we're gonna remove everything and then make our own loadout. We're gonna remove everything and make our own loadout. We're gonna keep the GPS because the GPS is something I think everybody would like. I'm not gonna go with a Alice pack or anything like that, we're just gonna start with a basic day pack. I'm gonna go with a blue day pack, add that, now we get, now you will spawn in with both a GPS and a blue day pack. We're gonna add two, R, two MREs, I know the ID which is 81, so I'm gonna put two of them there. And we're gonna put in one medkit and also we're gonna add a... We're also gonna go. We're also gonna go ahead and add a military knife because I personally think it would be more fun to spawn in with a military knife so you can actually kill zombies. Save that, owner. This is where you want to put your ID. How do you get your Steam 64 ID? This is the one with a lot of IDs. You really gotta change this because otherwise you won't be able to get admin on the server. Of course, you want your name to be listed as owner. Of course. Go to your Steam profile, how do, how do you do that? Your name, profile. Right click, copy, page URL, open Google Chrome. For Steam64 ID, this link will be down in the description below, and the site is called steamid.io. Put this link in, and look up. There's a lot of IDs, you want a Steam ID 64 which is the one with a lot of numbers. Copy that. Go back to your settings for the server, and paste that link in. It will change, and this is my Steam64 ID. Now that's very, it's a very easy way to configure everything, but there's also some stuff you might want to change for yourself. You don't want to change your own settings, just, just keep it as this is. Okay, so now you have done that, I'm gonna show you how to change your advanced settings, but you can't do that yet. You gotta save this, and you gotta start your server for your first time. It's gonna take a while, because it's loading all the items and such into the game. You wanna allow access to the server? Very easy. When it's at loading level 100%, then you're done. You can type shut down here. Or go down to the server organizer and press shutdown. A shutdown will basically display a message in game in case you're turning off the server. You want to do this when people are playing on the server, so they it's gonna do a countdown from countdown from 10 seconds to zero, and the server will shut down. But for me, there's no one in it right now. We're just gonna press instant shutdown. And now I'm gonna show you all how you can edit your advanced settings. Basically, that is increase the loot chance, remove zombie spawns, and everything. So let's go ahead and do that. You also want to make sure that you have on normal or easy or hard because you gotta know which one you have edit advanced settings okay open notepad okay now you see there's easy in case you have easy ticked in there you're gonna change these settings so basically it's everything this everything is the same if you have easy ticked in here then you want to change easy if you have normal you want to change normal and hard you want to change hard of course there's also gold in case you have gold users on there we're gonna choose normal here now you can type control or press control F together and type normal and it will highlight here so we got normal here for me I'm gonna have x2 which basically means double loot amount on the server I'm gonna change spawn chance to 0.7 you might think why not put it at 2 no 0.35 is the normal we want to have it at as double which is basically just 0.7 and that's pretty much it what I want to change, but in case you want to change the vehicles, oh, we're actually going to do that. We're going to change the vehicles respawn time to 150, which basically basically divides the amount of respawn time the vehicles had on my server, so it will be 150 minutes. No, wait, 150, yeah, it's, I think it's 150 minutes. In case you want to have it on 1 hour, put that on 60. Zombies, zombie spawn trust. If you put this on 0, then basically there will be less zombies. I want to have a... I actually want to put this on 0 0.3 because I like zombies. I really like having zombies there. Zombies do drop gear, but it's only at a 50% drop rate. I like it as it is, but if, in case you want to have like every zombie drops uh, something, put this on 1. I'm gonna keep it on 0 0.5. You can remove bleeding and everything like that in case you want to do that, but I'm gonna keep it as it is. Save it by pressing File and Save, or pressing Ctrl plus S. That's pretty much it for the settings. Let's try the server. Save, start. Oh, you want to start the server organizer before because you can't start and turn then start server organizer because that's gonna fuck everything up. Now basically you have started up your server loading level 100%. I'm gonna show you how to install plugins before. After that we have tried to connect to the server. Start and turn. So now that we are in game, you want to open five boxes before you can. Join. No, I'm just joking. Pre press, press, press play. Press connect. 
You want to put localhost and the port you have. I don't think that's necessary, but you just want to put localhost. Let's try that. Press connect. Coffee shop PVP. Join. And it's basically going to load into the server. Let's have a look on if it works like normal. As you can see, we have gotten what I put as my starter. We got my loadout, blue day pack, pack, one medkit, two MREs, one GPS, and a military knife. So that means, that shows that everything is working. Let's try to... And if you put yourself as an owner, you will be automatically admin. You can see here that you have this hammer, which basically means you're an admin. Let's try to see if the loot chance is better. Let's teleport to military base. This is the military base. You can see there's a heli there. That's completely random. Um, the zombies are still gonna be have that 50% drop rate, yeah. You can basically get military knives anywhere. As you can see, there's a lot of loot here on the table. Just this table, and I think you can find some on that. And you can see also the, uh, the message in the chat. Welcome, server coffee shop, get your coffee today. So that means everything is working. Let's try to install some plugins, shall we? And also, if you're in game, as an admin, you can do slash shut down. To turn the server off. This server has been shut down. In case there's someone trying to, what could you say, someone hacking on the server, like several people hacking or someone hacking and um, they're trying to ruin the server. So before they ruin the server, you want to do a shutdown. Okay? How do you install plugins? There's nothing on server settings. No, you want to press open server panel. Here's a lot of stuff. You have information, backups, you can create a backpack. You can, create a, you can create a backup of your server here, you can go to plugins, mods, UPnP in case you want to port forward your server, but I don't need to do that for my room, but I recommend you doing this. Mods, basically, mods are pretty good in my opinion, but I'm not going to use them because that, it will install several items, you can have like backpacks and such, but people will have to install them by them, by themselves, if they, in case they want to play on the server, you know. So we're just gonna go ahead and install plugins. Install plugin. There's a lot of stuff you can need. So in case you want help with finding new plugins, I recommend you going to Unturn. So now that you're in Unturn and you want help with plugins, what plugin should I use? Press play, servers, internet. You can have any map or something like that. Pre press players and you can find the most played server. For me, it's Sweden apparently. For an example, let's take ESP, TPA, kits, PVP drops. If we press that, you can see all their um, all their plugins down here and in case they have mods you can see the mods down here so we're gonna see here they have young leave messages kits rocket bridge rocket mod vehicle events sub feast sub home commands so that's some comments i already know about and some of them that i'm actually gonna use in this video go back to, you can leave this open go back to server organizer you can minimize this and basically here's a name you can search for each name for example join leave message messages I just have to type join and there's join to leave messages by Cartman2000. We're gonna install that. Basically, it's when someone joins the server, there's a message dis displaying that someone joined. We're gonna install that. Mod has been installed. Gonna go back. Kits, in case you wanna have kits on the server. Me, personally, I'm not gonna use that. Uh, Rocket Bridge is already installed because that's the basically what makes the plugins work. Um, TPA, in case you want to have TPA. A TPA is a comment I'm gonna use because I know a lot of people like that comment. So basically, we'll just be installing that. The mod has been installed. We're gonna install SAP home command. That's basically so people can teleport to their homes in case they have slept in a bed in their house, I think it is. At least this comment is very good in case you have a base in the air or something like that. That's basically what I'm gonna install for this video and what I'm gonna have on my server as a beginning. You can just close this off and press start. Let's go ahead and have a look if our plugins are working. It's loading everything, it's loading the new mods and everything. Sub home command, you can see different, like you can see here. Loading sub home command, it registered slash home. You only leave messages and it installed all of those. We're gonna just let it go, let it be like that. And try to join the server, connect localhost. Coffee shop PvP, join that shit. And there we go, we're in my server. Let's have a look if we can do slash home. You don't have a bed to teleport to, so basically, in your base you have to put down a bed and sleep on it. And then we had TPA, so let's have a look, slash TPA. Okay, I could tie a TPA to Blither, could not find that player. And to accept the TPA, just do TPAA, or TPAD, or TPA abort in case you want to abort your TPA request. Anyways guys, that's the plugins you need. I hope you all enjoyed this video and that this was 
I hope this video was very educational and that you learned something new. I recommend having Unturned Server Organizer, it's a very good plugin. It's a very good program to install a server with, easy as hell. I hope y'all enjoyed the video and as always, remember to stay coffee.